Breaking news. The real reason Aisha Buhari called on all presidential aspirants. And, um, you know, first of all, she had meetings with the women, now before the men. Now, uh, part of the invitation request was that they must not, okay, come with their phones. However, some people came with their phones because we could see some pictures and some things that have gone on, yeah, why that party was on. But the real reason why she called for the meeting is what is about to be revealed, you know. Aisha Buhari, the wife of the president of the country, is trying to walk away for women. You know that she is somebody who, if given opportunity, she will be like, good luck, Billy Jonathan. You know that woman? We are the men's. Eh? If he cannot finish school, what did he go do? He go repay class. When myself and Mr. President was running from creek to creek, in back in Bayasa State, where are all the educated women's? You know, you know who I'm talking about here. Yeah? That was the woman whose voice was loud and was leading, you know, the government. However, Aisha Buhari, due to culture, religion, to a large extent, she's been suppressed. I don't want to say oppressed. And now she's, you know, position, put, you know, making position her, you know, her, her, her take. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. Thank you. The real reason why Aisha Buhari wants all the presidential aspirants in the meeting was for them to adopt women as their running mates to get Nigerian women to the presidency cater to become their vice president. The first lady, Aisha Buhari, has urged political parties to always consider women as their running mates to candidates contesting in the election in their various positions across the country. Buhari, Aisha Buhari was speaking on Saturday night where she played host to the presidential aspirant from various political parties to a Ramadan feast break at the State House Abuja. The news agency of Nigeria reports that the dinner was ordered and organized by the First Lady to provide opportunity for the aspirants to share love and happiness with one another in the spirit of Ramadan and in quest for the nation building and to let them to remind them that Nigeria as it stands there is no need for bitter politics for only one person will emerge as Nigerian's president from the whole lot. She said fair play for women in politics was to ensure their greater potential in electoral position. In fact, it is high time women are adopted as running mates at all levels, considering their voting strength and creative involvement in political possession. As we approach the 2023 election with greater hope, I am confident that Nigeria will continue to grow from strength to strength on the precedence of our strong democrat democracy, she said. The First Lady adjourned the presidential hopeful to remain focused on issues that strengthens the nation's unity, brotherhood, and nation cohesion. Buhari, Mrs. Buhari, however, reminded her guests that 2015 election was a watershed in the history of Nigeria. It was neither contested in the court of law nor in the court of public opinion. Therefore, the greatest end to a tenor of gifts that follows Nigerians can give to the first family is another free global acknowledged fair election come 2023. She has appealed to all, asking that all the aspirants adopt a woman as their running mate. So this was the real reason Aisha, you know, um, had this meeting. This was the real reason. Okay, this was the real reason why Aisha, you know, went on to invite every one of them. Uh, part of it is that she wants every one of them to adopt, you know, a female, uh, you know, as their running mate. So that women can come on board and um, it's no longer the male alone. So when, when women come on board, then there is opportunity. There is potential for them to also climb and get their presidential, you know, dreams come alive. And many of them can also stand up, uh, you know, the chance of getting into that position. Take, for instance, you and I can see that the person of the vice president, 
has been a vice president, but now he's going for the president. That is Professor Emil Sibanjo, who has served with Buhari. So this will avail women a lot of opportunity and pot uh, potential to come on board and to also, you know, give their own contribution meaningfully, you know, to ensure that, um, you know, uh, elections, elections are conducted in a decent and, you know, and in a proper manner that will be suitable for all and not just to some. So these are some of the things going on, my wonderful people. So as you see, as we can see, you and I can see um, Aisha Buhari wants women to come on board, which is a good thing. You know, Nigeria is one of the countries where a woman has never been a president or a vice president. Other African countries, yes, but in Nigeria, it has not been. And um, Aisha asking for this will be her, you know, bringing something new and fresh to the table, you know, that Nigeria has not experienced in a long time. And that would be a very good, you know, a very good thing, a very good opportunity for the nation and for Nigerians at large, which is fantastic, okay, which is fantastic. Aisha Buhari, like I reiterated, you know, if not for religious affiliation and region, you know, things that have, you know, not really allowed her or availed her the opportunity to be able to, you know, shine through, she would have done much more. Okay, because uh, she would have done much more with her capacity. She has found herself. Well, these are some of the things ongoing. These are some of the things happening. And um, it's it's rather staring us in the face that this is the main reason why, you know, Aisha has gone on to say, you know, it is time for Nigerians to begin to, you know, reconsider, reevaluate. So that's Aisha Buhari for you, the wife of the uh president of the federal republic of nigeria in his opinion women should be given opportunity to contest and to also have opportunity to become president so that uh, women can contribute their own meaningful quota to development well these are some of the days upon us um i shall also ask that um, they have a politics that is free of bitterness and anything and everything that will potentially, you know, bring about, you know, bad blood among those contesting. Because whether you like it or not, at the end of the day, just a single individual will become Nigerian's president from the whole lot. Whether you like it or not, it's going to be one person, like one, one single person. Okay? It doesn't matter how many people from, you know, by the time political parties have their primaries, that's going to streamline. We're going, to, we're going to know, for instance, PDP, this person, APC, this person, and then elections will continue from there. Leave us a comment. Bye for now.